Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin and Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. And boy do we have news for you, the Magikarp is in this box. Yeah, I mean, if you call it every time, is it still calling it? We haven't called it once. So, so today's the day. Today's the day! I can feel it. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. All right, Jay, here's the thing though. If it's water, if it's teardrop, is that what is Magikarp would be water, right? It would be a teardrop Pokemon, okay. yeah. So if it's teardrop, then it's confirmed. Oh, wow. Ready? Let's Ready? see it. Three, two, one, go! Great spin. Thanks. Teardrop. Oh, it's so close! In oh. fact, it is metal energy instead. One off of the teardrop. So close, Ben. So close. Ben just ruined it for all of you. Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are kind of unique. We have Fue Coco, super fun, but then Watchroll and Kilowattrel, so like a full evolution line in the uh, chase cards. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? You know, thought? it's. I, I mean, this is another one of those instances though where I'm like, again with the birds, it's like, it's like, it's, I can't, the number of times that they do birds and that the birds are really, really not that uniquely different looking. Yeah, they're just like, what if it's just a different color bird and based on the color, that'll be its type. And then what? what's electricity? Watts? Sure, yeah, all right, kill a kilowatt. Kill what? That's the, the kilowatt watch. Well, there we go. Watch, watch roll. Excellent. We've just invented good. a Pokemon we name. Just invented you watched it happen name. in real time. Well, Ethan, the editor, was telling me today that birds aren't even real. So Birds aren't even real. Yeah, Some so. people believe that. Some people believe that. Anyway, I doubt our first contender believes that. Maddie! Maddie! All right, Matt. So in the last two boxes, the first pack was the best one, and then the box after that, the last pack was the best one. Okay, so if you're not first, you want to be last. Right, exactly. Okay. So either this is the best one in the pack, or it's not. Or it's not. All right, let's, we're about to find out. So let's see. We got the eyeball energy would have helped you last week. Not this time. The Dunsparce would have helped you last week, but not this mm. week. The Super Rod, the Love Disc, the Snover, the Bramble Gas, the Superior Energy Retrieval, the Pseudo Wudo. Oh, uh, wait. Critical hit on the Snover. A Snover critical hit. Boom. Well, and the, the Palm Mott will score, and, and the, the Weavile will score. So one, two times two is four. Going to be four for Maddie, who came into the day with 13 points. Man, so they were hoping for a single point a pack single out of point. that. In fact, they're going to end up with 17 points on the season. So that does not put them in a great spot for uh, really getting anything. Sorry about that, Maddie. You will get the 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 Palmot, so. Enjoy. And the Weavile. Right. All right, next up is Dom, who shares a birthday with Vin Diesel as ever. As ever, as yes, ever. yes. I mean, yeah, right potentially, important. possibly, just in fact, is Dominic Toretto. Probably. And they're like, they're like, haha, I share, I share a birthday with Vin Diesel because Wink. That, that's me. Because <laughs> we're the same person. Oh, man. Well, they've got 12 points so far. Oh, but they hit the type Ooh, advantage right out of the right gate. Classic the gate. Dom. Let's See, I don't want to say there's a whole lot of metal Pokemon in this. Oh, the so Kilowattrel's going to score. The Dendra is not. Oh, the Coaxley! Look. And then the Cerulege! All right, so we actually have three scoring cards on the multiplier. Uh, the illustrator art for the starter Pokemon. You feel like that's got to be worth something. Let's see, number 206. Yeah, it's going to be $3.67. We'll round it okay, to so four, five, four, six. Four, five, six times two is 12 points. Not bad, not bad. And we'll go ahead and sleeve up the old Quacks of... Quacks a lot, quacks Lee, quacks sure, quacker quackerson. There you go. 
There's one of those works. Quaxley! Oh, that's Quaxley. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, that's going to bring 24 points to Dom, so yet another person dancing around that 8th place spot, but they haven't. No one has dethroned Mots yet, who still sits in 8th place at 29 points. So all, all alone at 29 points. That's Char true. Charcoal does have 28 and has one pack left to go. Oh, so uh, they could get, if they get one or two points, they could like really sneak in there, Charcoal could. And plenty of people can still play spoiler for Mots as well. Uh, in particular, Moss Twig has two packs and 24 points. That looks dangerous. Uh, yeah, there's also Pandito, mm -hmm. Abba, Megan K. So lots of people who are still absolutely in striking distance, and then just really at any point in time, if somebody gets a huge pull and just drops the top from the bottom down, then uh, yeah, then Beck then Squad it. will drop into that quality eighth place spot, and Becky Borst is going to be just so upset. <sighs> All right, Ben. Well, next up is Nixie Claw. Everybody at this point in time, I like to think, is as into the uh, imaginary rivalries as we are. I know, right? Especially Beck Squad and Becky Borst. I know. That's, I mean, that one's just like a tale as old as time. Yep. Battle of the Becks. Yes. All right. Let's see here. So we got the Lightning Bolt energy off the top, the Clavel, the Tropius, the Dunsparce, the Whooper. The Haunch Crow, the Pseudo Wudo, the Grusha. Oh, the, the Pseudo Wudo! Another critical hit! Another critical hit. Uh, the Bombardier will not score, and the Gyarados, Gyarados will. Oh, so we get two critical hits back to back, but unfortunately only for two points this time to bring uh, Nixie Claw's total to seven on the day. That is kind of a bummer, but there you go. There you go. That's how it goes. Next up is Veva. They have got. Uh, six points on the season thus far. So they've gone three and three coming into the day. We're gonna see if we got like a, a three peat. Yeah, can we if do you that? Will. Three peat. We got up to nine here. Veva's of course our resident cross stitcher, so consistency probably is desirable. Exactly. When it comes to cross stitching. All right, we've got the Rookity, the Magnemite, the Phalanx, the Combies, the Gothitelle, the Arctobax, the Giacoma, the Pink Kirchen, the Shinx, and oh. just the Tyranitar. Unfortunately, a single point on the pack. We have not seen a single. Single metal Pokemon uh, yet for the type advantage. No one has got a single point on that at all. Not one. So we missed out on that teardrop and the, the positive omen for our magic carp. We're trying to do a rain dance or something to see if we can't summon that that it, good good water energy. It does this information does bode well though, though for Collard Cal 41, who is our next contestant. They have only got two points on the season after two packs for 37 cents. Okay, so let's go to the bottom of our scoreboard here. We're gonna yep. take a quick peek. Collard Cow, yeah, so Sammy, yeah. Uh, possible sister-in-law Sammy, has 13 cents with two packs. So uh, Collard Cow and Sammy and Aiden yes. are really all in this together. Oh, there we go, and we got that teardrop oh, energy. Wow, so, so, they, uh, so had we gotten the teardrop, that would have knocked them out. It would have, it would have wow. indeed. And for Team Water, so kind of interesting there, the way in which like they're actually using the water to their advantage. Wow. The advantage, we got the Fletching, the Voltorb, the Clavel, the Tropius, the Pelipper, the Fletchinder, the Toxicroak. The Larvitar will not score, the Magnemite, Magnemite will not score, score. and the, the Palma! Oh man, so that's just a single point, that so we need to look up that. Yes, we Colored do. Colored Cow 41 has done it. They are the first person to go three packs, three points this season. So we have at least someone who has done it. That is absolutely amazing. Six cents on the Palma. Whoa. So barely worth Truly anything. A bad card. They had 37 there, up to 40. You know Three what? I'm, cents. Gonna, I'm gonna sleeve it for you just because that's it, it's not it's not worth anything, but that's what makes it worth so much. Exactly. So anyway, we don't know for sure that Collard Cow will be able to edge out Sammy in that last pack, uh, or right. again or possibly Aiden. Aiden. Yeah. So we got to look out for Aiden and Sammy there, and they have to get single points each and be below 43 cents. So we have to be in contention. Otherwise, right now Collard Cow has it for last place. Good spot to be in. Good spot to be in. It really is. Okay. Next up, we. Have Cortavian. Cortavian. Who's got four points on the season. They're from Kentucky. They live in Colorado now. Okay. Let's see. Big big crowd favorite Cortavian. You know, really fun name to say. Let's see. They got the salad energy off the top. The giraffe rig, the great ball, the Relore, the Quaxley, Vespaquin, Ice Q, the yeah, Iono is two points. The jet energy is nothing. The Clavel, and then the Tinkaton. So just a three-point pack there for Cartavian. Going to uh, bring their total for the season to seven as well. A lot of people landing at that seven. I know, it seems like yeah, it seems like the magic number for the day. It is. Alright, next up we have Jacob C. Jacob C, who, who does uh, who thinks nothing of the number seven and already has ten points on the season. That's right, actually. And they're, they're, uh, they joined us mid-season, so they only have two packs to work with. Doesn't mean they can't do big things. We're about to find out. We're we got that dark teardrop, the hop up, the Noibat, the Combi, the Glimit, the Primeape, the Mismagus, the Bramblegast, the Cerulegal score. score. Garnacle will score. Oh, and the Cerulegal! 
Double hit! Yay! No way! And so, on the rares, plus you got a third one, so it's six points, right? I believe it's six points, yeah, yeah. because we'd have one, two, three, and then times two is six. Yep. Six points, there you go. Very impressive! So just on two packs, they get 16 on the season. That's really nice. All right, so everybody watch out for Jacob next season, who's clearly heating up. Heating up. Unfortunately, he just went a little too high to get to the Big Steve Award this season. All right, next up we have Chris K, who, ah, uh, they are gonna be kicking themselves. They're sitting at 14 points now, so they are going to edge themselves out of Big Steve contention with this pack. And you would need at least, what, 15 points to get up into quality eighth place spot. <sighs> that's and, a rough position to be in. And disrupt mods. Yeah, let's see what we got here, especially without any, like, bonuses from the uh, the type advantage, really. There's not much to go on. The Talon Flynn, the Hair Cross, or the Kilowattro, there's that. The Rock Rough, the Bramblin, and the Lux Ray. Oh. Man, just two points, unfortunately, for Chris K. Going to bring them to 16 on the season as well. So they are joining uh, our last contestant, uh, Jacob C. Right there at the 16th spot. Next up is Braun. Braun! Who has got four points on the season, so they're hoping for a 10-point pack here. Okay, That's okay. their best track to victory. I feel like we've been we've been a little light on handing out points today, so I'm, I'm looking forward to, to this pack here for Braun. So we got the Rockus Pummeling, the Dunsparce, the Hophip, the Wooper, the Noibath, the Arongaroo, the Electrode, the Vigoroth, the Voltorb. Oh, no, no, it's, it's electrode. the Electrode. Yeah. yeah, almost the Critical Head. Almost the Quaxley will not score, and, and the, the Tyranitar. Tyranitar. That's the second Tyranitar to Today, man. man. Okay, well, yep. So poor Braun just closing out the season with a simple five points, Whoa. one point on both of the last packs. So Not what they were hoping for. Bit of a tough season for sure. That is. All right. Next up, we have got Alicia May, uh, aka Spider Man, who okay. same same birthday as Peter Parker, of course. Naturally, yeah. yeah. This is in the the ultimate reality where Aunt May is in fact Spider Man. That so has to have happened at least once. Has to have right. at least maybe even twice. Just for good measure. All right, we got the psychic energy. Okay. Uh, uh, Tinka Tink, Pincurchin, Makuhita. Uh, it's swimming around. It swimming the around. Knackle Stack, the Corvus Squire, the Jet Energy, the Jump Bluff will score, the Litlio will not, and the Mimikyu Mimic will. Just a two point pack today. Man, this box is being brutal to our contestants. It really, really, really is. And it's like, you just never know what to expect. I mean, a lot of times I'm almost like a little bit grateful when we don't get anything too uh, exclamatory off right. the top of the box because it gives you like a little bit of like room. It's yeah, like, you haven't okay. had to look up anything except the low card value you get today. I know, I know. My poor, my poor stack of pages I over know. here is just like... Wow. Well, Second. Alicia May finishes the, the season with seven. Next up, we have Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. Who last, this is another person who joined us uh, halfway through the season. So they've got eight points out of one pack so far. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got for you there, Robot feels like, Wiz. Feels like we're lining up for a strong finish, but so far this box has been disappointing. It has been. So we got the Salad Energy, the Frigibax, the Tandem Mouse, Sprigatito, Magnemite, Toxicroak, Crocolore, Pelipper, the Zwilus will not score, the Satitan will not score, and the, the Low Kicks. Kicks! Oh my gosh, the key, the Jeez. slow build, the anticipation grows. What is going to break the... We're just, we're just burning right now, guys. We're just burning. We're gonna find something okay, for you. Okay. Yeah, if they're, the smoke. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. definitely all we have right now is smoke. Yeah, we just got a lot of smoke. It's yeah. like a bunch of leaves burning over here. All right, right, we've got 11 points right now for Tex. Tex. Let's see, Tex, what have we got for you? Got some, look, there's the leaves that are burning. Okay, the leaves that are burning. There's the Hopip, also, <laughs> also on fire. Also on fire. <laughs> the Makavita, the Pidkirchen, the Dieta, Azumarill, Vespaquin, Ice Cube, the Fletching, the Faulkner, and the Slacking! What is going it's okay. on? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're just gonna plow forward, this'll be fine. Surely we'll recover. All right, Tex lands at 12 on the season, barely missing out on uh, Big Steve as well. Next up is M Bug. M Bug, we're just hauling right now. I feel like I'm, I'm what I'm afraid of is like in in space launches. Uh, yeah. They they like they always say in the movie, there's a shimmy, there's and a the shimmy. shimmy is always sort of like like something's kind of yeah. like vibrating. And usually vibrations go like from like bad to worse. So we're we're hoping though that this isn't a shimmy and that this is just the. Like we said, the smoke. The smoke, right. The smoke, yeah. Exactly. Which analogy do we buy into today? No. We've got the eyeball energy, which is showing up everywhere. They are staring us down. They are. All right, Embug only has three points this season, so they'd love to see something big. Something, anything. Yeah. And we would love to well, see I would love to see it. anything. All right, so we've got the Combi, the Glimit, the Frigibax, the Tandem Mouse, the Pink Kirchen, the Crocolore, the Graffaya, the oh, Magikarp. Oh, there's the carp. It's that. getting a little bit rarer. Yeah, a little bit rarer. The Sandy Guest will not score. And, and the, the Glamora. Glamora. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 
Four points for M-Bug on the season. Here we go, the Glamora is uh, coming at ya. We are the house you don't want to trick or treat at right now because we're just handing out nothing but duds. Dude, this Milk year I, duds. I do plan on handing out Pokemon cards though for trick or treating this year on that note. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. as much as you believe. I found a bag of the cards this morning, but I think they were from last year and I feel like they gotta make new cards for this year, yeah, right? Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna hand out last year's cards. I'm not gonna be that house. Yeah, that'd be embarrassing. Come on, I know, look, you know what I do? All right, next up is uh, Kyla. They have got two, another mid-season joinee. They've got two points so far. Kyla, save us. Wait a second, what does this fun fact say? It's been watching SCB since... The first Pixar theory. Loves Narwhals and... It is Carp Girl, Oh JK. my gosh. I was like, no, no you are not. That would have been amazing. Although, maybe you will be. Dude, could you, could you imagine? If you don't know the legend of Carp Girl, you have to listen to our podcast, Popcorn Culture. It exists somewhere, but can you imagine, like, if we got, like, Catfish oh my on, gosh. The, on the on the case? That'd be so Trying funny. to find Carp Girl. Right. Huh. I don't know for two points. <gasps> oh, and oh, the Chicken X! Okay, so that's going to be some points. Thank you, fake Carp Girl and the Orthworm on top of it. So an I don't know. Oh, man, I feel like it's ramping up. We've had, like, we went from, like, regular Carp to... Re reverse holo card. Now we've got reverse holo Iono. We're starting to see some rare cards. All right, so we got the Tinkets on here. Yeah. 262 on the set, right? Yep. It's going to be worth $15.11 of 16. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow. Oh my Man. gosh. Good save on the Orthworm. Yes. There. So 20 points there for 22 total on the season. Oh That's a very solid finish and definitely the best pull of the day. Yes, absolutely. Jeez, thank you, Kyla. We needed something. We pull, did. Like carrying the weight of the team at the moment. Right. So, which is what you might expect out of uh, old Tinkaton here. It looks like they can wield some serious weight. That actually, I guess that scored three points for Fire as well, because their fifth place person was at 19 points. So Kylo puts uh, at least three points on the board for Fire. There we go. Which, by the way, as we get towards the end of the season, just a reminder, if you're on the winning team, you get a uh, special commemorative season pin yes. mailed to you at the end. You sure do, yeah. It's yeah. A, it's a, think of it like a uh, like a, like a gym leader badge. Exactly. We'll have one for each season, uh, and you're, you're competing alongside your teammates. There's no additional, like, cost or anything. We'll just ship those out to whoever wins. I can't even remember. I can't even remember either. Go I ahead. Either. Next up is Jupiter Fox. Uh, let's see. She's got five points on the season. Thus far, there's the teardrop energy. The carp, the carp is taunting energy. us, the you guys. Poke, the Litleo. There's the Litleo. The Rock. Oh, the oh no, there it is. The Knackle Stack, the Calamitous Terry Mountain, the Mischievous, the Merrill, and the oh, Lycan Rock. Okay. All right. All right. All right. At least at least rare cards, even if I think this one's just a single point. I'm pretty sure we pulled it last week. I think we did. Number 117, the Lycanroc, 72 cents. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So nothing, so nothing terribly exciting, but as ever, if it's a full art card, we will be sure to sleeve it up for you. So eight points on Keep the season nice for safe. Jupiter Fox. There we go. Enjoy the Iono either way. And they've, they've sort of pulled like a Jupiter Wolf here. Hey, yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, next up is Bobby with two B, with three Bs and two Ys. But not what you expect. Exactly. It's two Bs at the start. Ooh, that's no, so strange. Not. That would be weird. Bobby. Bobby. They've got seven Ooh. points so far. Oh, and they get the multiplier. Here we go. And we're feeling good about this. We're feeling good. We're feeling mm. good. We got the Knackley, the Nimble, the Shinx, the Rookity, the Flitchender, the Vigoroth, the Orangaroo, oh, the, the Corbinite is going to score. score. Oh, oh, the go oh my God. They're getting the multiplier and somehow managed to pull a metal Pokemon. <laughs> wow. Very impressive. And oh my gosh. Whoa, what look the at heck? this. Suddenly Bobby's putting points on the board and going to get that two times multiplier. This. Could be bad news for Mots. Let's see. You have two, to think. I know. Let's see how it shakes out. So number 277, the Superior Energy Retrieval is going to be worth $7.91. So, so eight points. Eight. And then uh, the Giacomo. It's 252. Hang on one second. Is going to be a dollar ninety-two. So that's two points. So, so okay, that's yeah. Two. So that's ten there. Eleven times two is twenty-two points. Twenty-two points. Twenty-two point pack there, which is going to. Oh no! Yes, this is twenty-nine points. Does that match Mots? That matches Mots. Oh no, we're at rare card value now for Mots and. Bobby, and I have to think that the superior energy retrieval is gonna favor Bobby. 
I think you're because right. Because I don't remember what Mott's rare card was. Did he have the Squawk ability? He did have the Squawk okay, ability. Yeah. I think he the maybe had a four times multiplier. And he had the multiplier, well. so yeah. I don't... But this was on a double multiplier. That's true. That's yeah. true. So we're going to have to go and, and check the tape a little bit to see what that does. But things heating up up there in eighth place. There we go. Oh, man. The battle continues between Bobby and Mott's. So now the real thread... To, uh, to to weave through there would be getting 30 points even, and that would actually just eliminate Mott's. Um, and who yeah. is this? Who and is Bobby. This? And Bobby. Yeah. Because uh, you can actually get in between the 29 right. and 31 points without passing Beck Squad. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So next up we have John Borg. I, I just went. You just went. Okay. Here we go. John Borg has seven points on the season. Man, eighth place heating up over there. But of course, it could all come crashing down for both of them if anyone scores. Uh, 31 or higher. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But there's the, like it, it would be disappointing in my mind if nobody disrupts the top eight between now and the end of the season. I know, right? The Frigorath, the Zwilus, the Therapeutic, the Luminous, and oh, oh the, the Full Fal Art Faulkner. What is going Man, on? Man, all right of a sudden now? we've hit the sweet spot of the box and we are just cruising. Let's see, what's this one? 251? 251. So just $1.85 for wow, that one. So that's two a points. Bummer. Yeah. Um, but still a cool card. That kinda is love cool. the kind of love the full art trainers. Dude, full art trainers are my favorite way to bling the deck. Yeah, that's not oh, just to looks, do it. it just looks so much nicer to play out a nice full art card down, you know. Do you have is every single one of your decks fully? Oh no, certainly no. not. No. Yeah. I wish. I wish. I uh, whatever if I'm like playing in a big tournament, I will go through and make sure I like migrate all of the rare cards to the the current deck I'm playing. Okay, I got it. Sometimes gotcha. I get a little spread out and stuff, but um that'll be for Pittsburgh, which I guess as you're watching this is Next week? No, no. It was last weekend. I don't know how I did. Hopefully good. All right, next up is Anthony. Anthony. Uh, this is uh, one of our mods. Sons. Yes. I believe just started college. Yeah, if you're I'm right. not mistaken. Yeah. So congratulations to Anthony. Hope it's going well. Indeed, indeed. There we go. So we have the teardrop energy. As as ever, we we remove the uh, the veil, which is the curse of the mods from right. from um, from their from family their members, family members and loved right. ones. Yeah, indeed, absolutely. Spiritito, Magnemite, Nackley, Nimbles, a Titan, Faulkner. Again, uh, the Dun Duns parts. The, the Duns Snowy Mountain. Whoa! Oh, just like that, we said we removed the curse, oh! and so we did. It's a double ultra rare pack. That's awesome. The Paul Day and Tauros is so cool. That oh my gosh, I cool. love that artwork running out of the sun like that. That's amazing. Yep. yep. So uh, we're gonna have let's see, number two eighteen is going to be worth six dollars forty nine cents. So That's seven. seven. And then the Wo Chien is on the front page. Number twenty seven is just worth eighty cents. So okay, so eight points total yes. for the pack for. 15 total on the season, so just missing out on Big Steve, sadly, but right in there. And you got two cool cards out of this pack. Absolutely, indeed, yeah. I think Thank it's you. the first time we've seen that Pelbe and Tauros. Now you can show off for all your friends at college. Probably be the new most popular person on campus. That's what I absolutely exactly. suspect. Yep, They're yep, going to be yep, like, whoa, yep, whoa, 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 whoa. You won this on the internet? This would be a great time to have all of your dorm mates come in and watch the episode alongside you. Exactly. And, and see them praising you for all of your awesomeness. Right? Oh, my gosh. Wouldn't it be great if there was, like, a whole, a whole like, just dormitory that was, like, super invested in this game? Yes. This is the goal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's absolutely try to make that happen, Anthony. <laughs> all right. Next up, we have Tyler Gillies. Uh, who has got four points on the season and has an identical twin brother. Oh, we have another Gillies in the game. Yeah. I want to know if they are the identical twin brothers. Of oh, one that'd another. be so funny. Yeah. Oh, I don't know at all. Maybe they're hated Ooh, rivals. Oh, we did pull the uh, metal energy here. So we have a type multiplier, the Larvitar, Sandy Gas, Tarantula. There's the uh, more boring version of the Tauros. The Florigato, the Murkrow, the Arctabax, and the Veluza. So, sadly, just two points. Just two points. That's Nothing. two points in every pack this season for Tyler Gillies for a total of six. Oh, man, Tyler. I'm so sorry. Next, I, I got a good feeling for next month. Yeah, last season they did manage 57, so they're coming out of a good season. But That's true. That's true. All pros have their off days. It's really exactly. like the saying. Next season's where it's really going to be fun, though, guys. Pokemon 151 is going to be lit. Lit. So cool. Legend, wait for it, Dairy Cows. Exactly, exactly. legendary cows. So yeah. there's no mill tank in the set. None whatsoever. All right, next up we have Ben C, not you, I'm pretty sure. Not me. Can you imagine if I was actively partaking? <laughs> <laughs> Just like, and this tell one's you. mine. 
You're going right under a pseudonym. Yep, that's me. I'm the pseudonym that's, is my name. Is, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you go, cat has to mail it to my address. Yes, yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Pikachu, slack off. Watch roll. Oh, there we go. The no, Fue wrong watch roll. Oh, is it the wrong watch roll yep. and the wrong Fue Coco? Oh my gosh, double whiff on the chase cards. Oh, How like unfortunate. The Grafii, the Pinkurchin, the Wingle will not score, the Reversal Energy will not score, and the, the Jump Bluff is oh. the worst. Insult Worst rare card to injury in the set, unfortunately. So yeah, not a great go. pack there for Ben C. But you know, you live to fight another day. Next up is Lauren B from The Bachelor, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Absolutely, huge, mm -hmm. huge fan of uh, Pokemon TCG. Yeah, big time, big time. Very notable. Talked about it all the time on that show. Uh, let's see, we got our ban the Fireball Energy. Murkrow, Mischievous, Sneasel, Gothita, the Spidops, the Pyroar, the Florigato, the Delivery Drone. Is this the right? Nope, wrong. Nope, wrong one again. And the oh, Rabska. God, the Rabska. Wow, back to back jump fluff into Rabska. We're back into the skid, guys. We are. We are indeed. I would say my current recommendation would be if you're going to your local <laughs> card shop asking for a random pack from their booster box collection, I would grab from like the middle. Although I guess that's kind of where we are. That's kind of where we are. Yeah, they, we've had we've had them at the front, the back, the middle. I mean, it's all over the place. Uh, Gil Druin is next. They are coming in with three points themselves. All right, Gil Druin. Let's see what we got for you today. All right, we the dark the, teardrop. The dark teardrop, indeed. We got the Shinx, the Rookity, the Pikachu, the Slackoth, the Passimian. Oh, Corviknight the, scores. The Corviknight does score. Did any of that? No, that's no. Right. This does there. evolve into this, but it changes types. That's just incredibly yeah. lame. Classic bird mod. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so Viper, uh, ben, who's felt. ben who's complaining about these birds, but his favorite Pokemon is Fearow. That's why yeah. it's like it's like I mean, I feel like Pidgey and Spiro in the same game was already like more than enough. Yeah. And then including just a bunch of other rather generic yeah. birds. When you start with Pigeon and Sparrow and you've already run out of ideas. And another Rabska. Yeah. Yeah, there we Here go. Here we go. So uh, a double Rabska back to back. Yeah, double Rabska well, back well. to back. Well, well. All right, that's going to bring uh, five points on the season for Gil Druin. Here we go. All right, so you're not someone who goes on Route 1 and is like, whatever bird Pokemon's in there, I'm putting that on my team. No. No. Yeah, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good to know. I mean, if it's Spiro, then obviously I'll put Spiro on there because Drill Pack is just basically unstoppable. Yeah, I mean, so. that's more, that's, that, the route you catch the Spiro on is actually like pretty high up, I think, because it's like it's like on your way to the Elite Four, but it's like right off Viridian City. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, you have yeah. to come back. So I think it's kind of like a surprisingly high number, which makes sense, you know, Spiro, OP. OP, right? naturally, yeah. That's All pretty right. Much Next up is uh, Andriana. Andriana, who, who has had a pretty low point season, although at this point in time, I think would just be ruled out for that last place award. So. Yeah, it's kind of had a low point career, if I'm being honest. If I look back at season five, this is only her second season, though. All right, I have the Eyeball Energy, the Charcadet, the Mischievous, the Sneasel, the Quaxwald, the Delivery Room, the Ferrugarraf, the Rookie D, the Tauros, and the Hydreigon. Goodness wow. gracious. Unfortunate Andriana coming in with four points there on the season. Uh, only five points last season, so hopefully she pulls something big in our single pack season, Pokemon 151, next month. That's going to be exciting. All right, now we've got uh, Methy. Right? I believe so. Methy. Okay. Uh, who is joining us mid-season, so we got five points on one pack. Okay, okay. Yep. So not not terrible. Not a not a bad starting position to be in. We got the fireball energy. Oh, here we go. Oh, the Qfont right. scores. The Qfont does score, as did it last week, but for a different reason. Yes. The Crow Gunk, the Citadel, the Zwilus, the Mousehold, the Titan, the Luxray, Luxray does score, score. the, the Gyarados, Gyarados scores. scores, and the Slacking scores. There you so go. Four scoring cards, four scoring points. Four out of nothing there for nine on the season. Way to uh, use the advantages to your... Uh, actually, there wasn't any advantages. Way to just pull three rare cards in one pack. <laughs> well done. Well done on the whole. Well, it's hard to teach that. Next up, we have Tina Dodge. Tina Dodge. Tina Dodge, hoping to dodge some low point packs here. They've got five points on the season. They finished last point last season with six, so hopefully they can get at least two points and beat their own record. 
Bam. All right, we have the Mastiff, the Wingo, the Pino, the Merrill, the Mousehold, the Tinkatuff, the Palmo, the Vespaquin does not score, the Hariyama does score, and, and the, the Obama, Obama Snow. Snow scores. Boy, they kind of look like each other, right? They do sort of look like It's like, like a Hariyama other. just got, like, covered in snow. It's just, like, a little bit, like, yeah, it started snowing and just sort of was like, yeah, I got my mittens on, and now they're big and green mittens. All right, well, things are looking up for Tina Dodge. They finished their... Uh, last season with six points, and now they've got seven points. There so, we go. Okay, so just upward go. trajectory. Upward That's trajectory. what you always want. It's you just know? constant self-improvement. You keep going in that direction, and eventually you're going to win. You know, like 60 seasons from now. Right. <laughs> we'll Maybe still be more. Here. All right, next up is Jackinator and Dakinator. Jackinator and Dakinator. Let's see, they're coming in there at one of our uh, power uh, duos here. They've got 13 points going, so they just want, what, a single point on this pack, actually? So they want a low pack, which means they probably aren't going to get it. All that right. seems to be a wrong Wattrel. The wrong Wattrel. Wrong really Fue Coco. The wrong Fue Coco. The, the oh, but the Q-Font scores. There we go, the Q-Font, the Paldeantoros, the Luxio, the Mabostiff, the Great Ball does not score, the Hop Pip does not score, and the Veluza wow. scores just one point. What a roller coaster where they saw those first two cards, you're like, <gasps> Could it be? Could it be? Oh, and the Q font. Right. Good, 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 good. We've seen like two all day, and here's another one for the metal energy. All right, so that is going to be, what, two points on the pack for Jackinator and Dakinator, which sadly is going to bring them to 15 on the season, oh. just missing out on Big Steve. All right, all right. Let's see it, people. Oh, but I can see that your um, sister, possible sister-in-law, Sammy, is up after this contestant, Vincent. Vincent who's got 16 on the season, so they're looking to play spoiler on quality 8th place. I do think it's your pack, isn't it? Yeah, right, let's do it for it. Yep. All right. Who can keep track of such things? I don't know. It's, it, you'd think it wouldn't be hard to remember what happened like 10 seconds ago. But you know what? Sometimes I think it's harder to remember what happened 10 seconds ago than what happened like a lot longer ago. Anyway, so we've got the Eyeball Energy, we've got the Shrudel, the Phalanx, the Jigglypuff, the Tadbulb, the Corvid Corvid score, the, the Dunsparce, the Pupitar, the Pyroar does not score, the Hydreigon does score, as oh, does the Garnacle. Garnacle. Oh man, so, so three point pack there. No spoiler. I mean, we are, we are fighting for every point today. We really are. We had like a nice little run there. We had the gold super uh, energy retrieval. That wasn't bad, but let's see. Um, next up, ooh, okay, right. We said this is Sammy. So this is another contender for last place and she needs one point out of this pack and to be underneath 43 cents, I believe. I believe so, yes, yep, approximately. Against Collared Cow 41. Right, and she's got 13 cents, oh, so there's... There may be a few more people up here who still have a stab at the apple as well. Might be. Oh, no, those all have no. three points already. Yeah, those all have three. Okay, okay. So, yeah, no, I think this is pretty much it. This, sh this should tell us who's in last place. Okay, okay. Right, um, let's see. Bam, water energy. So that's a good... No, the, Sammy is lucky to have pulled the metal type advantage today because there just aren't that many metal Pokemon. So let's see how it goes. The Meryl, the Wingle, the Pineco, the Spidops. No chase Pokemon so far. Bravery Charm. Oh no! The Tyranitar! This is actually an amazing card. We haven't pulled it all season and it's oh. definitely got some big points on it. Wow, and the spear tomb, which is good against Mew. Oh my um, gosh, it was like a guy. I, you so pulled that one, close. and I was like, "That's it, that's, that's it. it!" Oh my gosh, I do love this Tyranitar card. It is such awesome artwork. Um, it is such bad news for Sammy, but it probably means that Kyla, I, and barring something I don't uh, see, well, so Kyla could technically still have a pack left, possibly. I suppose. Oh yeah, yeah, have yeah. Two. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. We gotta so. look for that, and then Aiden. Did they go earlier? Let's see. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember either. Okay, maybe Aiden is still in it as well. Um, either way, let's see though. But that Tyrant comes out. in at a whopping twenty dollars wow. eleven cents. Wow! So it's a twenty-one, twenty-two point pack after <laughs> all of that for a grand total of 24 on the season for Sammy. Wow! Ha way to bring it down to the very finish line. Uh, that was that was pretty remarkable. Yeah. I mean, it literally, it seemed like it was just over. It was like, I know. that's it. Like, that's that's it. it. There's we nothing it. in this pack. I know, but man, the Tyranitar, pretty good. So pretty at the sweet. very least, you get the Tyranitar card. It just made our, made our, our uh, episode worth it today. I know, right? Maybe we'll put this one in the thumbnail. <laughs> Let's see. Next up, we have got Charcopple, who, oh, Charcopple can play... 
Oh, yeah. Spoiler at the top for eighth place. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so Charcoal has the potential to pull two points, which mm. would actually be very strategic. Um, really like threading the needle there. And of course, I mean, it doesn't mean that anybody up at the top can't still like cause some sh some shifting there. Um, but Charcoal is is probably in the most prime position at the moment. Okay, so Charcoal, yeah, Charcoal's way to victory here is two points in this pack and then hoping nobody else gets more than 30 the rest of the game, right? Yes, yep. Or else pulling massive and just going into first place. Or that, yep, absolutely. Yeah. So, and the thing that's really interesting about this though right now is that our Carly, who's in first place, has 97 points, but about 80 of that came from a eight times multiplier on a 10 point pack otherwise. Yeah. And then second place, Mooney Man is only has 43 points beyond that. So we're, it's not been the most high scoring season. It really ever. hasn't, so, yeah. So um, I don't know, this is a solid spot. Who, who opens? Uh, you open, because okay. I just did the Tyranitar. Okay. I guess Charcoal could also jump a few spots up and hope to get bumped into eight. That's true, that's true. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Although only, yeah, no, yeah that, that could still happen. So they're at 28, but uh, let's see. Can they get the two-point pack? They need at least that, right? All right, so we have the rock. Yeah, so two points. Otherwise, they tie with Mots, who's already been knocked down. Ma right. Mots, who's been tied with. Oh, tied with yeah, her, right. Yeah. All right, so we got the Krogunk, the Satotl, the Shrudel, the Phalanx, the Pupitar, the Flamigo, the Bombardier, the, the Kufon score. score. There uh -oh. we go. The Frigora, Drif, Drafferig, uh, will not score. And the Luxray will get two, two points! Wow, just like that. Oh my gosh, they landed right where they wanted to be at 30. So unfortunately, the dream is over for uh, Mots and Bobby, who were sitting there hoping uh, at uh, 29 points, tied for eighth place. But now uh, Charcoal and their 30 points will secure the eighth, point, eighth place spot for now. For now, for now. So everything can still change, but that's a, that's a good spot to be in. That was clever play by that old was, Charcoal. That was, fantastic. Now Beck Squad is desperately hoping anyone gets more than 31 points to bump them into eighth place. That's right, yep. Oh my gosh, okay. So next up we have Hannah, who's sitting at 12 points on the season. Let's see how she does. Goodness me. Bam, Dark Teardrop Energy, the Mankey, the Delibird, the Super Rod, the Love Disc, the Gotharita, the Honchcrow, the Whist. Oh, critical hit on the Mankey. Okay. There okay. you go, the Pin Kirchen, and then just the back Scalibur, I am afraid. So it's just two points. Wow. Just two just points. Just two points. That's oh, wait. Bring... oh, wait. Oh, but that is exactly what they needed because that brings their total to 14 points. Oh, my gosh. Wait, okay. so, yeah, wow. Back to back packs. Now we have contention over. Um, prime podium spots. Yes, yeah, so this is gonna be the, for the Big Steve Award. Uh, so Big Steve currently has 13 points. Big Steve is awarded to the people who are directly above him in the standings. There's a current three-way tie between Chris K, Caitlin, and Elizabeth H. Yeah, but Chris K has opened two packs. Right, so well, if as long as Chris K has one more pack left, we'll probably knock him out of contention. Caitlin, Elizabeth H, and now Hannah are all tied. Are, are so all gonna be go duking to, out. They want, and you want the low card value here. Yes. Yes, so. So should we go ahead and write down the value of that back scalibur? Uh, I guess we should. I do think that that's a reasonably high one, number yeah, 60. Yeah, it is pretty playable. You use it with the champau. Let's see, so yeah, that's a 30 cents. So nothing, okay. nothing's gonna super throw you out of whack. That's right, but they did have a 10 point pack. I'm curious what that was, what got them the 10 points there. There we go. Let's see, all right. Well, next up is Justin H. They've got 18 points, so they're out of range of Big Steve but not out of range for messing up uh, eighth place. Eighth place, that's correct, yeah. Let's, let's, see. let's see what we got Damn. here. So can they knock down Charcoal? Got the Mankey, the Delibird, the Rod, the Belt, the Palmo, the Raichu, the Wasteland, and the Oracoria, Oracoria. so no spoiler here. Wow. Uh, just 19 points there on the season for Justin H. But not a bad showing. Not a bad showing at all for nope, Justin. Nope. Well, well played this season. Doing very good, doing very good. Bam, all right, let's see. Next up, we have got Jesse. Jesse! Jesse, who has seven points, so they're hoping for those seven points as well on this pack to get into the big Steve spot or just, of course, pull it big with our, uh, you know, our promised Magikarp. Ooh, okay, so we got Oh! That. Boy, I tell you what, if they pull the carp now, they're looking to probably, like, first place. <laughs> yep, uh, or, or at least very, very close to it, yes. Great Ball, Relor, Quaxley, Faulkner, Saviper, Pyroar, 
Artisan will not score. Oh, the Grafaya I will not score. And the Hariyama. Well, so just two points, two I'm points. afraid. Wow, nine on the season for Jesse. Oh well. You oh, hate well. to see a squandered metal energy. You sure do. Like that. That's just too bad. I know. It's like he's like so often that's what happens. You see it and then it just kind of fizzles it too. But then every now and then you get a Carly who hits like the eight times multiplier. Whew. It's a big one. And then it's off to the races. Then it's off to the races. I guess that's not even possible right now because I don't think the rare gold card is the is a metal energy. So okay, that's true. Tricky. That's true. Yeah. Let's see. Anyway, next up we've got Brant. Brant. Brant has three points on the season. Let's see it. Fireball. All right. Something big. Something big, Brant. The Primate, the Grusha, the Miss Magus, the Tropius, the Satanal, and, oh, well, okay, the Skeledurge. Not too All bad. Right. All right, number 37 on the set is a front pager, so 91 cents. Uh, just a single point single for the point. Skeledurge. But, you know, if you're going to get one point, it may as well be a full art card. There we go. That's true. That's true. Not the worst way to go. At least you get a shiny new card out of it. Because at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you, you want the points, but also, like, you're getting the card. Exactly. So, there you go. Kazam. All, All right. right, and this is our final uh, pack of the day for another Lauren. Oh no, Ben. Here we go again. If you recall last week, uh, Ben failed to pick the correct pack for the player. <laughs> I did. I did indeed. Oh Gosh. man, so uh, another Lauren has seven points. Uh, can, can Ben's classic hand feels choose a, a winner here. There we go. And the fact that there are a couple packs left over means that there is room over at patreon.com slash supercarlinggaming if you would like to sign up for our 151 season next month, which is going to be amazing. It is. All right, let's see here. So we're, we're cracking in now. Could it be? Could it be that there is something glorious hiding within? Oh, it seems like energy. you picked the type advantage. We that's a good one. Maybe that's the weight I was feeling. We got the yeah. love disc. The metal is heavy. The Snover, the Fletching, the Voltorb, the Tinkatuff, the Bravery Charm, the Gotharita, the Moschiff will not score, the Pupitar will not score, and, and the, the Wiggles. Wiggles. Oh my goodness. That is going to bring them to eight points on the season for another Lauren with big Wiggles there. Biggles be Wiggles. Dare we open these? We dare. There we are dare. two left, one what each. What did? All right, let's just crack them at the same time. We'll see if we get okay. something crazy. So this what is this be? is what didn't ha this is what this didn't is what happen. didn't happen. But we, I, it's like if we pull the magic card, like I need people to know that it happened. Right. You know, so, we didn't promise it for nothing. Right. right. There's the electric energy in mind. Right. So, uh, Great, ball the dendra, the palace, the and score. The glimmit will not score. Oh, the Foretress. Oh, the Foretress and the Belly Bolt. Oh, wow. man, so I did there terrible. You uh, uh, so well, I think these are probably only one point cards anyway, and that's there was true. no other really score thing. So, so I would have had at least two. You would have um, had two points, and yeah. I think the Belly Bolt's just a single point there. Whoo, man. man. Okay, well, there we go. Emotional roller coaster, as ever, guys. We only have two episodes left before we close out the season. It seems like quality eighth place, big Steve Award. I would even love to see the first place like like oh man there's some shake up convention. I know I know uh, it even seems like the last place award with CK Hoof Talk is in is is possibly like like clinched even was it CK Hoof Talk is that do I have it wrong hang on a second maybe I do oh collar Collared cow. cow I am so sorry oh, different cow part yes different Oof. cow part my bad my bad yeah collared cow not CK Hoof Talk my yeah. apologies um However, yeah, so I'm very curious to see how the rest of the season will play out. Again, if you want to check it out, you can do so at patreon.com slash gaming. Select any of the um, Box Breakers tiers. We do have a whole bundle of them, and there's always the ability to compete as a team, even if your individual cards aren't doing so well. Get the really cool exclusive pin. Uh, but otherwise, guys, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!